Today we're going down a rabbit hole with data view and database folder. Want to join me? Okay, so diving right into this rabbit hole, let's see how deep we can go. Today we're going to be looking at probably guilds and NPCs. Um, and I was chatting with a bloke over in one of the other tool channels. Um, just to, you know, it's something I do is keep an eye on the other tools, see what they're capable of doing. And, you know, having a look at features and functionality that, you know, I'd, I'd like to have myself. Um, and he said, you know, the one thing that they have that's unique to their tool, and, you know, the, the claim was that it was unique, was, you know, you can create an NPC, and if you say that that NPC belongs to a guild, then the guild note will update to say that that NPC is a member. Um, and, you know, if you go to the guild and you create an NPC, then, the, you know, the NPC will be automatically updated to say that it belongs to that guild, and vice versa. It's like a backwards, forwards link. And I was just like, hmm, well, I'm pretty sure we could do that. So, Let's have a look, you know, just for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to just just to cover this and show how linking does work in this tool. So if we say Growl is a leader of this group. All right, we've got Growl's leader of this group. Um, I'm here in the unlinked or the outgoing links. All right, you can see here that I can click now. Growl's appeared, it highlights that. I really like that that does that. And I click the link and now Growl is there. Growl is set up as an NPC, so uh, for anyone who's seen my other video on the um, supercharged links, that's where the, the icons and the, the bolding is coming from, so I really quite like that. Um, and obviously we've got outgoing links, which shows the things from this page that need to be linked to outgoing notes. Uh, we've also got backlinks as well, so we can see linked mentions. So these topics here have all mentioned the purple dragons in some way. Um, these topics here, they all do mention purple dragons, but aren't linked and maybe they need to be. So it's just letting us know. So lots and lots of linkage options for, for anyone who's new to this tool. With that said though, what we wanted to do is obviously come to the purple dragons and say, all right, so we need to create an NPC and add an NPC to the purple dragons, right? That's what I wanted to do. So I've, I've got my note here. Um, and you'll see here over on the right, you know, using the wiki style uh, template that we, we went through in the last video, um, you know, I've just got some details here, base of operations, what sort of alignment they are, that sort of thing. But down here you can see I've now got this key members section. And that's what I've added this evening, right? So key members, I've got an add new member button, um, and I've got, you know, a list of all the NPCs that belong to this organization. Now the fun thing about this, I haven't made this table. All right, this table's been automatically generated using the data view plugin. Um, and data view is obviously insanely powerful. Uh, but for this purpose here, it's really, really cool because now I have an automatic list of everyone. Um, and I can, you know, click into these and I can go back to my NPCs and, you know, click my back and there we go. Um, and I was like, all right, so what if I want to add a new member? So that's where a database folder came in. I was like, all right, well, I love database folder. I'm going to make that the way I do this. I've got an add new link button that goes to a database folder. In here, I can say, John is my new NPC. Um, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm giving the name twice, it's part of my template. Uh, associated group, you can see it's pulling from all the existing options in here. So I've got an NPC, uh, he's a drow, he's neutral, uh, he's a male, he's an adult. Uh, and in here we're just going to, you know, what have we got? We've got a druid, let's say. We can add a new option, just so you guys know that this is possible, and click true. All right, so that, that's now created that person, and we can now click back and go back to our note. And look at that, John's already listed inside of our note, um, right there, he's already linked through. Um, if we click through to John and have a look, you can see I've used the uh, templator um, plugin here in order to actually bring through the automatic template. So that's another benefit. If we come in here and have a look, we can see the front matter has already been set using the database folder plugin. All right, so we've got our Druid, we've got our name, we've got our Purple Dragons. All right, but check this out. Now over here in the wiki style section, we've now got a link to the Purple Dragons that's automatically generated based on the front matter. So now I can click on this link to go back to the Purple Dragons or I'll come down here and click on John to go back to him. So we've got a backwards and forwards link that's automatically working and it's just fantastic. So. I, I'm pretty happy with this. This is a rabbit hole that you know I'm a little bit afraid of because I could go deep down this. I'm thinking like all my templates, I'm going to start again just to imagine what I want to do. But anyway, so let's have a look at how I've achieved this. All right, so there's a lot of plugins going on. All right, so data view, obviously, you're going to need data view. So let's start with that one. So you come down here 
Um, and you can see I've got my little info box section here. A lot of this isn't necessary. This is creating the, um, the table on the right hand side of my page. The important bit is just this data view section here. All right. And we can see it's the, the dash 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 data view. Um, we're bringing in the table and then we want to list from those tables where we find race and gender. Uh, and then we're saying where associated group equals purple dragons. So I'm filtering on the uh, purple dragons. I'm basically querying my whole list for anything that's got associated group purple dragons and where it finds that, it will automatically list it. Okay, so that's how we generate that list and that list will continue to grow. As I add things to it, it will continue to grow there as long as associated group equals the purple dragons. And as you can see, like this concept works really well because I can start to replicate this in other NPC groups or other NPCs, it's really quite powerful. But then I wanted a database folder, all right? So for anyone who remembers what we did previously with database folder, um, you can right click on um, a folder and go new database folder. All right, so that's what I've done is I've created a new database folder. I've renamed that to add new NPC. And then what I've done is I've gone through and I've just configured using the plus signs, um, any of the new uh, columns that I would like. All right, and the columns are basically matching the front matter that exists in my, my other notes. Now the front matter can already exist in those other notes, by the way. All this does is that by having this here, um, and, and telling it that I want the, um, the front matter to be pulled in. I just have to make sure the name of the column matches the front matter. And then if you get out of the note and come back in, it'll refresh um, and it'll pull in all the data for you. All right, so here I can see I've got all of my NPCs where purple dragons equals here. Um, I was thinking about this as well. One thing we could potentially do, um, uh, this is the folder note settings. Do, 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 do. What would I would like to do? Open database settings, and I just want to set up a filter. Can I filter? I can. You can tell I haven't done this in a couple of days. Embedded. Add new filter. Sorry, right in front of me. All right, so what are we going to do here as the filter? I probably should have got this name first. I'm going to go note icon. All right, so let's come in here to the database settings. I'm going to click, I'm going to come down here and say note icon equals NPC. All right, I think that's saved automatically. All right, there we go. So now we're filtering on just anything that has the note icon for NPC. So it's going to show me Technically, if I set it up properly, all of my NPCs, instead of showing everything in there that has, you know, more everything. Okay, so that's now cleaner. It's a lot easier for me to work with. Um, I've now got this here, and obviously I can, I can just easily go through and add whatever I want using here. Um, you can also change things on here for anyone who's obviously new to this application. You can just click these things and it will update the note. But if I go back and have a look here, all I did was add in a line in my table. And all I did was like, just so we can replicate this, I do the bracket bracket, and obviously the name of this is add new NPC. All right, you can see I've got one for player there as well. And then I'll do my, um, I don't know what it's called, my, my straight line, and I just gave it a different name. All right, just so I can call it whatever I wanted. And it will display as that, and we come back here into this version here, and you can see I've now got a different name. All right, so that's all it is. It's just a link to that uh, database folder. Nice and simple. All right, so we can click now on add new member. That goes through and anything I create in here will go through now. I love this plugin just because it means that I can also now use this um, as a way to audit all my NPCs or I can sort on it or I can, you know, um, filter on it. Like I, I love this plugin and it's really just in its infancy. It's just starting out. All right, so now I've got the linkage from um, the purple dragons or the group, and I can replicate this for any group I like, um, all right? And it will scale as I go. But now I wanted to make sure that my NPCs have that as well. So you'll notice that when I click uh, add new member, and come in here and say, let's call him Dexter. We'll go Dexter, purple dragons, NPC, human, I don't have to do all this, but we're just going to do it. 
just for the purpose of it. He can be an infant and he can be a rogue. All right, so when we add all this, usually what would happen is it would just create a note that has nothing in there. All right, but you can see that this time I'm actually populating the full template when I when I do this. So how did I do that? All right, so using the uh, templater uh, plugin, sorry, so templater. All right, what I've done is trigger templater on new file creations. I've enabled that. And down here in the folder templates, what I've done is I've selected the folder where my NPCs are getting made by my database folder, and I've defined a template. All right, so all this does is point to uh, this folder section here, and then it points to my individual template and automatically applies that. So that's how I get all of this. Now let's have a look at the templates. All right, so if we come down here, there's two templates involved so far, but let's have a look. So this is the individual template. Um, you can see it's got this uh, nice section on the right here. Um, it's got some data pull-ins, and wait, I'll show you what that looks like. So you notice I don't have any front matter on this template, right? So front matter is usually defined like this, where tag name equals tag, right? And then you, you set it out. That's called front matter. I don't need the front matter because in this specific situation, database folder is going to create the front matter for me, okay? Um, because that was what database folder does. So I, I took the front matter out of my um, template and I'm just moving forward with the assumption that from now on I'll choose database folder to create new NPCs because it's just so much easier. It gives me that drop down boxes, that's, that's what I really like. Um, but knowing that the front matter will be there, I'm now using the equals this dot name, the equals this dot gender, and basically the equals this is the call, and then it pulls the front matter based on the same name. So in this case, there's front matter called gender, there's front matter called race, there's front matter called age. And wherever that occurs, it's gonna pull those details into here. Now, you could obviously come through and you can update any of your elements of your, your note, right? So um, in here, for example, I could technically do this is, this is not a bad idea, name, all right, and now when I create that, that will automatically update based on that name, all right, and just to show you just how that does work, if we come in here and we put some front matter in, we call it name, all right, and then we close out our front matter, and then we come in here and it failed on me equals this dot name equals this dot name let me just get out of this template and go back in there we go Fred so sometimes database um, or data view sorry just takes a little bit to update and just that refresh of triggering into a new page can be sometimes what triggers that but as you can see that's how it works um, I'm going to remove that because I don't actually need it in here for now, but I'm going to leave that. I quite like it. Um, all right, so you can really go to town with this sort of stuff. This other thing here, though, I really like this. So um, equals link, all right, um, equals link bracket, this associated group bracket. So what this does is this creates a link from whatever is returned to here. So in this case, associated group is purple dragons. And because I have another note called purple dragons, what I get over here is a link. All right, that's super powerful. And I notice it works with the, um, the, the advanced um, icons and the super links, I think the plugin's called, sorry. So it brings in the icons and the bolding and the color if you define all that using your supercharged links as well. All right, so that's the individual template. Um, you know, you can make these templates do whatever you want. I do have mine, it's a little bit complex. I'm playing around with all sorts of ideas. I've got the old Realmworks one, I'm bringing in um, the, the, the stat blocks, I'm bringing in the links for the encounter charge, I'm bringing in the wiki styles, like I'm kind of starting to now bring it all together and make something. Um, and kind of moving away from having this old Realmworks style where I just sort of list all the information out. I really like the condensed version of having it all on one screen. Um, but obviously that's just one of the templates. So the other one is the places and we have a settlement. All right, now I haven't really populated this yet. So what I'll do is I'll just go back through here and show you what I will do is I'm gonna copy this effectively into my new 
template, all right? I'm going to come in and basically copy this section into my template for my settlement so that whenever I create a new settlement, I can basically just come in here and say, all right, well, let's just uh, let's trigger this to the name of whatever it is, um, and off it goes. Um, and then, yeah, that, that's that's what it is. So we, we have automatically updating a list of NPCs. We have the ability to add new NPCs with the, the full database functionality of the drop-down features that's really nice. Um, and we have the ability to automatically sort of have this link backwards and forwards so that it's all there. So yeah, I don't know about you guys, but um, I think this is pretty damn powerful. And I just want to say a huge shout out to the guys that are obviously putting the effort into uh, coding the uh, the data view plugin, um, especially the bloke doing the da database folder plugin. I really appreciate it for that. That is just so much fantastic work. And you know, for anyone who's new to Obsidian, it is a um, it is an official application, right? It's not open source, but it does enable community development, and it really is the community that is driving the development of some of these applications that are just turning this into such an amazing tool um, at a really aggressive pace, right? So um, there's a weekly newsletter that comes out just to teach us all about all of the plugins that are basically uh, coming out each week and the updates to the plugins and all that sort of stuff. So it's really crazy. So yeah, huge thanks to you guys. But um, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm pretty excited to jump down this rabbit hole and see where it goes. So anyway, this has been uh, data data view. This has been database folder. We've done some supercharged links, um, probably some other stuff as well. So really just a video to pull it all together and show you just how powerful this tool can really get. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you do enjoy it, please do like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget that I have a Patreon as well. And if anyone wants access to my templates to see how I do things or, you know, get copies of my templates, for example, then, you know, that's available to my patrons as well. So um, anyway, hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll speak to you all on the forums.